Engineer 775 trying to beat the heat, but here comes the sun. It's going to be a very warm day as we install a new Cummins 20KW standby generator for this home. And Larry's already getting it. Copperhead Electric's on site, bright and early, determining where we're going to put our transfer switch. We're going to put our transfer switch over here, the generator here, get plenty of walk through. We had to do a lot of ripping and tearing this morning of old bushes so it's been landscape time and get the pad leveled so I poured a pad made a pad at the house just to save some time and then we're gonna set the little Cummins on there and then come up with our strategy so what we have to do the meter base is here so that basically has a, a feeder into the house to the main panel we're gonna go up in the attic and make a junction box we're gonna cut the main feeder take that feeder from the meter and bring it into the top of the transfer switch. Then we're gonna go back out of the transfer switch to that junction box up in the attic and tie it into the main panel. And for this generator, you also have to run a separate AC circuit because the battery charger is on board. And there's some other accessories, like if you have an extreme weather kit, uh, cold weather kit, there's about four accessories that you can uh, hook into with a 120 volt AC circuit on 20 amp breaker and then there's the control wires the control wire between the transfer switch which is there and the generator I think we need four wires for that and then we're gonna put a remote somewhere in the house so the customer can control the generator from inside the house the 20 is cloud enabled so you can uh, hook it in with an Ethernet cable into your into your um, uh, router and you can pull it up on the phone if you want to um, just to see what it's doing you can check exercising and all sorts of things so all right well this is the beginning of the job on a scorcher of a day uh oh here comes the sun Larry uh oh here uh, comes the sun. <laughs> so let's get to let's beat it all right the next step we got our mounting pad in we got to set the generator 18 inches off of any combustible surface off the wall Got a nice, I'm gonna decide to leave that bush. It'll be a good sound barrier to the generator back here in this corner, so nobody should hear it. They are only 65 decibels, so they're one of the quietest home standby generators there are. And again, this is the Cummins 20 KW standby. Got the transfer switch mounted. And Larry's making the, running the conduits, two inch conduits up through into the attic where we can make our junction box for the feeder lines and then then we'll have a short flex we can hopefully we'll, we'll be able to flex right into the bottom of that uh, switch we got plenty of room to walk here and have access to the transfer switch there is a manual handle I'll show you that later but let's put this generator on the pad and uh, I got to get ahead of Larry and that's hard to do next step we got the generator on the pad conduits are set to go into the attic with the feeder so we're about to pull pull the wire make a junction box make the transfer switch connections and then we can run the two AC whips to the generator and our two DC so again if you're looking to install one of these it's kind of helpful to know you just you set you don't have your DC control wires in with your AC but you do need to so you can have two AC runs and two DC control wire runs. One of the control wires is for the communication between the transfer switch and the generator, and the other one is for a remote inside. You do not have to have the remote in the house, it's just a convenience. And then there's also the identical remote inside this cabinet. So you just. Hey, Larry only teaches me one trick per job. Is that right? Just That's get it. one, one just one. That's so it. we got to take this ground wire um, for the service entrance and get it into this transfer switch. So he, he chucks it up in the Milwaukee and twists it all up. So he, look at that go. So we twist it up tight. And you're good. And you're good. Now you can lay on the ground. All right. Thank you, sir, for my one trick. That's it. We're done for the day. i got to sell trick. more generators so I can learn more tricks. <laughs> As we continue, the generator is set. It is wired. And the shade is here now, but we were too stubborn to wait 
and so we just finished up and now it's nice <laughs> but uh, anyway here's the transfer switch 200 amp service entrance transfer switch and uh, we have two conduits coming out of the bottom the larger one is for the power and the battery charging circuit the smaller one is for DC for the controls between the transfer switch I mean the transfer switch see how the heat's getting to me transfer switch and the Jenny so you have um, the grid sensing wires you have the transfer control and and then I also added um, I added a cat5 connection in that DC so there's a remote in here and uh, and so I put a remote in the house about 30 feet away so you can run and operate and monitor the generator from inside if you like so just a nice little added feature so that is it a 20k and we did fire it up I mean we, we turned it over there's no propane yet so we're gonna bury a 500 gallon propane tank out here set regulator um, and that's coming up soon so then I can commission it go over it with the customer but uh, we did it in about let's see five five hours I would have done it faster if this is the first time I've done this one I worked on this um, latest version so spent a little time in the manuals figuring out which is which so anyway we're good we will uh, call in and get an inspection and uh, we'll be back so if you need help with a Cummins generator um, I am a Cummins dealer so I've been selling these to folks all over the place um, I am competitive with the folks that are on the internet like Norwal and Electric Generators Direct those guys kill everybody so but I'm small operation so if you need help and I'd be glad to walk you through because I, I wanted to install several of them myself so that if you ever have any trouble I can walk you through it remotely so it's not too bad I actually poured that pad myself because I didn't want to pay for the the Cummins pad so I just made that little concrete 40 by 40 pad set the generator on it and um, that's it so it's a kit you get the transfer switch you get the generator as a kit so uh, if I can help you let me know the, all, everything will be in the description and uh, again thanks to Copperhead Electric uh, having an awesome electrician on the job is always helpful it would have taken me two days to do this job and then I would have been scratching my head a lot so plus I'm not a licensed electrician so it's good to have a guy that knows what he's doing and uh, otherwise you can't pull a permit and then inside I'll show you the remote in this uh, kind of mudroom utility room laundry room we have the have the remote and um, it's the same remote that's out of the generator you can daisy chain them all over the place um, it's not showing anything right now uh, we already tested it I disconnected the battery I do not want this thing attempting to start without propane so we just ran cat5 from this out through to the transfer switch and then through the DC connections over to the remote that's in the machine so thankful for Larry and his fishing tools and getting us where I wanted it all right I guess that's it if you need any help interested in uh, some a really really nice system Cummins makes one of the best generators on the market so whether you want a 13 kilowatt propane or you want to go up to megawatts let me know engineer 775 signing out